All right, y'all, I'm back for more Diablo Immortal. I uh, I read somewhere people are calling this game Diablo Immoral because of the the pay, uh, the pay stuff. <laughs> oh, shit cracks me up. What is this? I don't give a shit about that. All right, so I got my character to 56, and now we can continue on with the uh, the story stuff. I'm curious if I can actually like finish it here soon or if it's gonna like you know gate me and be like okay now we're level 60 you know what i mean like i, I don't know I, I could i could easily see that happening i i've seen people really ramp up the accusations of this game where they're like yeah i was playing and then like it was spamming me about continuing uh the game and i i had to pay ten dollars a pop and i'm like what the fuck are you talking about i've been playing this game for like a week and i i've i've never seen that happen like it does pop up with stuff you can buy but it's not required so i don't know if people are just being like intentionally obtuse just because they're like just trying to be outraged that you can buy things or i don't know i don't know what the fuck oh like some people just hate this game and i i can tell at a certain level i'm like well it doesn't matter what I say about it as someone that, you know, I've admittedly bought two things in this game so far. Um, that's it. And that's really, uh, I'm not going to say that's all that, that I'll buy, but, um, you know, I don't mind throwing a little money at a game. If it, you know, I've been playing it for a week, right? And to me, like a free game that I played for a week, I don't have any problems giving up some money, like a little bit, like 10 bucks. Hell, I mean, give them 20 bucks, you know, cause I feel like that's kind of like a good, you know, fun fun value to money ratio uh where am i going oh that's right you like going out here and there's like a portal a portal or something i don't know yeah Okay, here we go. We're going to the. Oh wow, I bought a book today. I went to Barnes and Noble for the first time in a in a couple years, and they had an artwork of Diablo book there. It was it was fifty bucks, so not necessarily cheap. Um, but I've always loved the artwork to these games. You know, the, the first, I remember when I got the first game on PC years and years ago. I love the instruction manual because it had such cool so artwork in it. Is the burning health. I must reach the world stone quickly before. Oh. Wait. All right. We got tree monsters, bro. creature is dead perhaps another of its accursed kin will reveal more the gnarled husks point in this direction if answers lie anywhere they will be in the forest's heart Uh 
short respite should be enough. Oh my god. Ow. It's it's interesting that hell's like a, uh, like a force. I don't know. I, I think that's pretty neat. All right. The hell, do I get out of here. Pun intended. There we go. Our roots extend throughout this forest. Each formed from a twisted soul like yours. We are inescapable. Exhausted. Your light, but a flicker. Do you not see? The roots bind tighter now. Impossible. Oh, it no longer feels as if I'm. Losing myself. Yilnira has chosen me. Good steel to have at my side. What familiar light beckons? I sense a presence. Angelic. Yet not. Yeah. Oh my god, I hate this so much. Shine as a beacon. Please, fight on. I am imprisoned in the ruins ahead. That is it. I hate that thing's gonna... Oh, one one thing I was crying about in my last... I think my last gameplay. Man, these things are badass. Um, was how like I can't move without attacking something. Well, I'm dumb. You can right click and that will move your character without attacking anything. I didn't know that. I, I had to actually look that up. So just know that the thing I was crying about was, uh, you know, my fault. So the problem was between the uh, chair and the keyboard for sure. You know, I'll admit that. I was I was crying about a thing that you know completely my doing. <laughs> your indignance only makes your suffering sweeter, Angel. Break my spirit. Ah, a fresh soul. The siphon will overflow this day.
destroy it before it devours the last of my strength. I also found a setting that will let you just auto pick up anything that's not a legendary. <laughs> I was like, man, that's that's convenient. It is done, Angel. You are free. Man, this character sounds like Darth Vader. Thank you, mortal. I am Baratheon. You have freed me from a millennium of torture for waging war against the Lord of Damnation. There's something different about you. A familiar brilliance about your form that defiantly pierces the darkness. Ah, I understand now. That blade you carry is Yulnira, Edge of Temperance, the last vestige of the Martyr. May I share in its strength for just a moment? Uh, yeah, man. Do your thing. Power up, girlfriend. Power up. a neat trick that blade of yours see how hell itself recedes from the pure light of the high heavens glorious is it not the blade has restored my spirit and my mind and i see you now as you are mortal what fate has befallen you that your soul should be in such a state as this my soul what of it? Mortal, when I look at you, it is as if the eye of a new stares back at me. Your soul bears the same scars that have rent eternity asunder. If not for Yilmira, your spirit would be nearly as depleted as mine. I do not fear for my soul. What matters is that Skarn has a fragment of the World Stone. He must be stopped before the entire world falls to hell's corruption. More is at stake than you realize, mortal. The Eye of Anew has the power to alter creation. It was done once before, and the result was your world. If we are to combat a demon wielding such power, cooperation is vital. We must rescue my brethren in arms. My lieutenant, Mikael. His screams echo from somewhere in the plains of torment ahead. If anyone will know of Skarn's plan, it is he. Save him. Your blade grants its wielder the power to commune through the light. I will guide you to the best of my ability. The path has been revealed, it seems. Well, that's mighty convenient. I, I, you know, I have to admit, hell being like a force is, I don't know if I've ever seen that particular uh, oops, spin on it before. I, I want to say I haven't. The 
blade is leading me towards that cave. Ooh, that smell. The right odor of... A pit. A puh. I can hardly see a thing in here. Found him. Mikael, do you live? Varathiel sent me to find you. Um, you... You're not an illusion? Another trick to torture me? No. An archangel's blessings. How... Oh, it doesn't matter! Please help me! Oh, the siphon is draining my spirit, stealing my light, destroying! Halt! The sound! It stopped! Flee, mortal! Flee! Wait, don't tell me. It's the butcher. Yep. Wouldn't be a dialogue game without the butcher in it. Yeah. Yeah, looks cool. You know, I swear the butcher in Diablo One looks so different than he does Damn in Three it. in this game. That creature shattered the mechanism. There has to be something I can use to flip the grate again. The cleaver. All right, bro. You good? <sighs> to think that my salvation would come from mortal hands. I had feared all hope had abandoned me. Not yet, it seems. Varathiel has also been freed. She is waiting for you. There is something otherworldly about your essence, mortal. And you wield an archangel's weapon with ease. Perhaps we stand a chance of stopping Skarn's plan. Before I was taken here to be tortured by that beast. I bore witness to Skarn's rituals. The construction of 
great pits of anguish that summoned forth a demonic army. Such blasphemy cannot be allowed to exist. The pits lie within the depths of Skarn's blackened citadel. Go, and bring Skarn's ritual low. May heaven's light illumine your path. Be on your guard, Blade Wielder, for you have surely stoked the fire of Skarn's fury. Illumine? I've never used that word. I never even heard of that word before. I've heard illuminate. Hmm. Alright, let me just kill these guys. Stop. Stop chasing me. Stop chasing me. Stop chasing me. Avoid it. Huh. It reminds me of those things from uh Zelda. I don't remember what they're called, but those things that shoot the lasers at you. You stand before the Lord of Damnation in the depths of his domain, child. Understand that you are alive because I will it. Because I see what you if this is the extent of your hospitality, I am unimpressed. You have my interest, but do not presume we are equals. You are still unworthy in the eyes of your true king. Allow me to demonstrate. Behind both of these gateways lies a tortured soul. One, the foul spawn of heaven. One, a servant from your world who has strayed from my path and seeks redemption. Okay. Not one their freedom. Decide. I don't know that. You would save your kin even when they sin against you. Do you not see? Yes. This is the same grace I offer your kind child. A bit Do not let the demons stir them. It seeks to corrupt you, to prey upon your weakness. Remember your purpose, mortal. A pit of anguish. It must be... 
I'm healed. Are in the pit of anguish. That looks mm, anguishy. Drained. Nothing remains. Use your nearest power to purge the evil as I did before. This may be your only chance. Well, damn, can I use that against the boss? Deny the truth that light and dark were one. Yet I use the light to create, while they are the destroyers. As Garn's power wanes, ours grows. I sense another of my brothers, Andalon, to the north. Make haste. Another tortured angel? Sicken. Well, this homie looks good and dead. I don't think he's gonna make a recovery. Only a hollow armor remains. I must reach Andalon before he shares this fate. Oh. I thought that was... The homie. My bad. An entire legion imprisoned and drained of life. So this is how an unknown demon summoned an army. All right. Ow. That hurt? I'm healed. My strength fails. A short respite should be enough. Let's not be too eager. Not alone. Purus is watching. Who? Andalon? Fear not. Baratheon has sent me to aid you. Oh. Don't worry, bro. I'll save you.
time, man. You like don't have enough time to get away from that stun. Jesus. Long cutscene of this knife blowing up this thing. It was cool the first time I saw it. Subsequent viewings, it's losing its 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 wow factor. Where's the like sound effects? You, you are demon spawn. Have the days grown so dark that your mongrel kind could provide a ray of hope? Would you prefer to remain imprisoned? Do not confuse incredulity for ingratitude. Mortal scorns evil must be put to an end. And it appears fate has chosen you as its unlikely pawn. The usurper has stolen my lifeblood and used it to birth an unholy army from a twisted womb in the West. It will be guarded by the living war engines of hell. Only the light you wield can stop it from issuing forth again. Though it tests my faith, I must ask you to resist your many imperfections and deliver us from evil. Well, since you asked so nicely, I mean, I'm all over it. I'm not leveling as fast as I'd hope. Like, I'm not even... I mean, I'm three-fourths of the way to the next level. But I think I started somewhere around here. Like, around the midway point. Oh. This reminds me of that fight in Resident Evil 4. God, why does everything charge, man? Yet they haven't. Your crimes are not justified by theirs, demon. Save your falsehoods for ears that will listen. Holy wrath well delivered, mortal. The last of my lieutenants is near. Find him swiftly. 
for his spirit has grown dark. Man, those monstrous uh, essences are freaking money, man. Like, like, you, you find 10 of those things, man, that's like a shit ton of experience. Kicked my ass, man. <laughs> what the fuck? There is problems. Stand against hell. That is the problem. My wig got split. Our work together is now complete. You may go. My adventure summary? What's this? Is this today? Or the, this gameplay, I mean? I, I don't know. Oh, man. I ain't running all the way back there. Right? Oh. Ah, oh, bro. Well, it's a good thing I went out of my way to get that uh, waypoint. Dude, how, how did they kill me so fast? Damn. And like, it, it wasn't that they just killed me. They just deleted me. Holy shit. I was like stuck and I couldn't move. I hate being stunned in video games. That shit makes me so enraged every single time it happens. Like just irrationally fucking angry. Hate it. I hate being stunned. All right, is it time for a dungeon? Status. He lives. You must destroy the soul siphon mortal. With pleasure. to harm you but I, I can fight him no longer your bonds are broken angel there is no freedom in the lord of damnation's realm do you not see he wants you to free us there can be no victory here. We join him, or we bleed away into nothingness. Now you see my truths laid bare. The fate of those who stand against me. Eventually, their suffering gives way to acceptance.
Ah, can I hit this guy? Yeah. I'll just face tank it. I don't give a fuck. It's At least this pattern's brain dead easy. Whatever. Your success brings about calamity. There is no hope. Only Do not give in to despair. Your brethren live. They sent me to bring you back. <laughs> Yet I am lost. After all, the damned belong here. <laughs> I thought he was going to do the primary tooth in. His anguished spirit has been smothered by hell's corruption. Shaddix, we shall remember you. Despite this tragedy, we must carry on, fulfill our mission, and destroy the last pit of anguish. Yes, let's do that. Oh wait, there's a waypoint just right over here. Any items for that? No. That's like the third boss I've killed, and I get no items from them. Like Shaddix. he lives. You must destroy the soul siphon mortal. With pleasure. Huh? What are you talking about? Shaddix. he lives. You must oh, I gotta do so this all over again because I left the area. Oh my god. Wow. I can't believe this. Wow. I I cannot believe it made me do that fight again. That I I mean, I, I can believe it, but I just, I don't want to believe it.
Oh, no. Mjolnir has been corrupted. And there's no destroying this pit without it. The only way to end this is by going inside. Oh, it's a dungeon. Oh. Well, let's hope I can find some homies to go with me. Oh, fuck it. I'm like waiting for like 10,000 hours. of Skarn's army. All I have to do is stitch it shut. Let's not be either. No big deal, no big deal. Alright, here we go. A short rest. You've trapped us together, demon. Not a winning strategy. Hey. That ability is ready. That sounds like a machine gun I was standing in that poison stuff on the ground. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Scary. Funny, I could run past damn near the whole dungeon. Like, oh, At this point, I really don't care because killing these enemies doesn't give much experience and they just don't drop much of anything.
gotta be. Ow. Are these all the enemies that I ran by? Hey, probably. A bit early. I'm healed. Okay. Ew. Ew. Like little little pimples. The way here we go. this thing I, I don't know i don't see a helper nowhere is there stuff in the room i'm supposed to be doing It's like do or die, I guess. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen.
happens? Oh, oh good, his his health bar is gone again. Like up, up in the fucking homie. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Adam. Parasitic piece of shit. A short You know, you can say whatever you want about this game, but that was pretty creative. Come on, man. You, you gotta admit. As far as level design goes. Pretty creative. Oh, that was fun. Oh, I think I can wear charms now. I think. Right? I don't know. I could have sworn. You know what? I have. I have bunch of charms on my inventory but like i uh shit <sighs> okay anyway Most impressive, but can you close a thousand more pits as they yawn open? Can all of humanity consider your future? Heaven and hell have waged eternal war to claim the power I hold. Not even the prime leaders themselves can contest it. Akarat, be praised. With you near lost, I feared the worst. I am glad to find my fears unfounded. The mortal lost the Archangel's blade, and we are nearly powerless in the heart of Skarn's empire. If anything, your fears are vindicated. We should never have trusted such a fallible creature. Silence, Andalon. 
The pits of anguish lie dormant by this mortal's hand. Our bickering only benefits the enemy. Without Yonira, only our strength can open the gateway to the Usurper's throne room. We must work together, for eternity is at stake. Mortal, see to our defense, and the path shall be opened. It is done, but it will take all of our strength to maintain the portal. When you enter, you will be alone with a deceitful demon lord who commands the power of creation. Can you overcome this challenge, mortal? I may not be of heaven, but a light burns within me that will never be extinguished, even in the depths of hell. I am the flame that will push back the shadow. Go, champion. We will hold the gateway open as long as we can. Uh. I'm trying to go in the portal. It won't let me. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Yeah. I was like, dude, it won't let me. What the fuck? upon my strength the corpse of a prime abandoned in hell to rot now bound by my will this stone is the key to all mortal souls your life has been bleeding away since you stepped foot in my domain at redemption. Be cleansed. Join with us, your true family. Or unending darkness awaits. Alright, here we go. The light fears not the darkness. A short rest. Can't move. Come on, man. Let's 
not be too eager. I'm only doing this because I read somewhere in chat about coming up here and you just stand here until this is over. That's the only reason I'm doing this. I just, I just want to see what it does. I'm going to die because look, I'm at half health. Is, is this really the way this is supposed to go? I don't think it is. There's no way. I guess it is. Resurrect one time, I think. I mean, it worked last time. I just stood here and then it just kind of stopped after a minute. Thank, thank God I like read this in the chat. Cause I saw someone post that they're like, cause someone was like, oh, how do you beat Skarn? And uh, this dude was like, oh, when he goes, and I, you know, of course I didn't know the contest. They just said, when he goes into four, go stand by the throne until it's over. And I'm like, oh, okay. This seems like something they'll probably patch out. Probably. Did he like possess the corpse of Diablo? Is is, is that what I understood? What I what he is? I, I wonder why he it looked survived. like Diablo. Yet corruption befouls the blade. Perhaps Cain will know what to do with it. He always does. It seems Skarn's plans to siphon away humanity's light ended with him. Good riddance. Here. Oh. 
Well, I didn't expect that to happen. So does that mean Diablo's gonna come back in this game or something? Reckless and impossible. We lack the strength. And doing so would imperil all that she sacrificed herself to save. Verafiel laid down her life to ensure the Lord of Terror did not claim the heart of creation. You are unworthy of such sacrifice, mortal. She felled countless demons across the field of eternity, only to suffer for an eon. You are not fit to question her. Angelon, remember her words and hold your ire for the enemy. While our mission is over at long last, we remain in the depth of hell. Discord among allies is of ill benefit. As for you, mortal, Verifiel commanded us to ensure you escaped hell with that stone. While I do not hold you in the same esteem, I will respect her orders. Return the shard to your world. We will be watching. Do not stray from the light. What the fuck? Thanks. So, well, there's my first level 60 items. That's cool. All right, so now what? All right, y'all. I I saved the, uh, you know, everything. I saved the whole world. You're welcome. You've returned. We were beginning to fear the worst. You have it. The last Worldstone shard? Yes, but it came at a terrible cost. Diablo's soul has been freed within the Burning Hills. Diablo? Oh, no. No. No, it was done! The Lord of Terror was dealt with. This is a catastrophic turn of events. I had hoped we'd averted the end of days. But this... It is not over yet, Cain. What I saw was only a spirit. Diablo has not taken form. There is still time to prepare. I've been... Too complacent. A fool. I should have foreseen this outcome. Still, it seems not all hope has left us. At least you were able to wrest the shard from Hell's grasp. Come, we must destroy it while we are still able. Unsheath Yilnira, and let us banish this corrupted shard from our world. Yilnira. Hell's corruption is overtaking the blade. Look at it. The light has almost entirely faded from the Archangel's weapon. Is there a way to purify it? There must be something. I... 
I, I, I do not know. Uh, Charcy, blades are your expertise. Tempering an Archangel's blade is beyond even the Herodric Malice's power. Even our best efforts can barely understand such strength, much less reforge it. Yet, Yulnira is the only hope we have of destroying the Shard. If Diablo returns to life and acquires this stone, I'm not certain anything could stop him. Oh, Tyrael, if only you were still here to guide us. We must use the blade as it is. Uh, hold on. You heard Charcy. The results could be catastrophic. We don't know what destroying the shard with a corrupted blade will do. It is no worse a fate than what Diablo would unleash upon us. All of you stand back. I know what I must do. This seems like a bad idea. my friend that light nearly consumed you i feared well thankfully it doesn't matter what i feared you live and the shard is no more you nearer it shattered the blade has fulfilled its purpose we will uh, have to take some solace in that. Besides, if what you saw is true, and Diablo's spirit survived, then the end of days has not been averted. We will need all the strength and knowledge we can muster. Come with me for a moment. I have a gift for you. It may prove useful, but I'm afraid you will have to uncover some of its secrets first. Uh, is that a gem? I don't, I don't know what it is. You hold a vessel of power that once belonged to my ancestor, Jared Kane. Sadly, his writings mention very little about it. Whatever its purpose was, the man refused to document it most unlike him against all odds the herodrim stopped diablo and his brothers from assailing our world if that vessel holds even a sliver of their power it could prove useful thank you cain we will prevent the lord of terror's return there is no other choice i believe you friend but even if you are successful, the Dark Lord has been defeated before. No, the end is coming, and we must prepare. For now, though, I must retire to my studies. I am certain there is something I missed. Reach level 60. The founding, uh, oh. our power, memories, accomplishments. So I'm assuming there's supposed to be a voice over here. An ember of our legacy. Meet me where four wolves wet their palms.
Meet me where four wolves wet their paws. I will show you truth hidden within the City of the Light. A bit tricky. The City of the Light can only be West March. And they certainly do love wolf imagery. Um... Performed well to carry our legacy this far. Do not be alarmed. Only you can hear my voice. Follow its sound. I was called Ibn Fad. I give you a gift that will advantage you in your war with the fiends. You're one of the Horodrum. I recognize your voice from the stone. I am but a memory preserved. Once I helped found the Haradrim at the demands of the Archangel Tyrion. We slew some of the greatest evils on Sanctuary. But we could not conquer death. The Order, too, has gone. You hold a remedy of a kind. The vessel you carry is meant to pass our greatest traits to future Haradrim. I bring you to hear the teachings of the Order in our own words. That you may use the vessels well. Should you survive, it will be your charge to recover the others and make our power your own. Haradrum secrets beneath Westmarch. <laughs> the city's practically balanced on mysteries. Uh. Is this like a dungeon? Like, like, what is this? Come closer, aspirant. What is this place? A gate. Out of the city to our legacy. Where we bled out our strength for they who would succeed us. Only those prepared to face our trials should pass beyond it. I do not need to ask if you are one such, but your worthiness is merely a beginning. When you are at your greatest is when you must give of yourself. Step through the portal and learn. This is like a challenge dungeon? Like, like what the fuck am I walking into? I just beat the game and I'm already going into something else. Both are here, man. Hmm. It's quiet as a tomb in here. Oh. Right. This is a vault of dreams, not bones. It has been long since any visited these chambers. Longer still, since any paid their respects. Ugh, select the vessel slot. Alright. Please. Uh, a culling stone? Ah, man. More, more bullshit for me to collect. Now, let us see how well you emulate our courage. Head to the Sanctum Depths. Wait, the Sanctum Depths? These trials shaped us and the vessel you carry. So, I pass the trials and inherit the power of the Horodrum? In part, our legacy lies in fragments. You must rejuvenate it before you can truly claim it. Remnants of the power we donated, culling stones, are locked behind the trials. 
Bring them to the natatorium to attune yourself. Everything's in pieces these days. One test complete. You will be privy to more of our power. Enter the Aspirant's grounds. Gather what your performance allots you. Bring the culling stones to the Metatorium and begin to restore the legacy. I expect you lose as much as I would, but it is your decision. Were I living, I might only it. I just ran through everything. <laughs> Would I have got more stuff if I would have killed all, all those enemies? Uh huh. Look at all the chests. Oh shit. See, this is how they start getting you with that, with that, uh, that, uh, oh, what's it called? The order. Not pay to play. Um, this moment for centuries. It is time. I can't think of the, the word, so I'm just going to shut up. Should you find other vessels, return here. This place is hidden, but connected to Westmarch through the passages above. In time, our story and our strength will be yours. See that you remain deserving. Okay. Um, all right, well, that's cool, I guess. So that, that's, uh, not, what the hell am I trying to say? Not free to play, um, not pay to win. I don't, I can't think of the word. I'm going to show up. I guess that's that man i don't I, I guess i'll talk about the game i did figure out there are credits that i can do so i can do my talking over the credits thing i just gotta they're in a setting somewhere they're like down here there, here we go so okay i'm gonna talk about the game and pretend like this is my last gameplay of it it probably is i'm probably not gonna do another actual gameplay gameplay of this i could see me playing this some more like in the mornings i drink coffee because this is like a good game for that where i can just kind of like mindlessly kill things and sip on coffee and ponder all the many mistakes i made over my life um all right i'm gonna try to be as objective about this game as i as i can because i know there's a lot of hate for this game and i i can see why to some extent um i'm only going to speak to kind of my my point of view and my my spin on this game my perspective so you know i said this before in another gameplay but you have to understand what you're getting yourself into when you play a game like this. So when you're playing a mobile game, a lot of these are designed around a pay to win system or, um, you know, not necessarily pay to win, even though that's usually how it works. It's more around like they, they give you the game and you start playing it and you're unlocking shit and keys and gems and coins and this, that, and the other, and they give you a shit ton of it up front. And you're making progress, you're leveling, you're getting all the stuff, and you're like, hell yeah, this is awesome. And then you hit a point where that just stops. And then you're like, oh. And then it's like, come back tomorrow for more. And you're like, all right. Or, or hey, if you pay five bucks, you can get all this stuff right now instead of instead of waiting. And you're like, oh shit, well, 
I guess I'll pay five bucks. And that's how they get you with these kind of games. Uh, that being said, me, me going into this game, I just wanted to play a Diablo game on my phone. Um, even though the irony is I played this on my computer for the most part. I played it a little bit on the phone. It plays fine on the phone. I really have no complaints about the way it plays on the phone. It's just... I don't like staring at a small little screen when I play video games. That's just me as a person. The game in and of itself, I ain't talking about the, the pay shit. I like the game. Like, yes, it's a very stripped down Diablo game. Like, there's skills, but there's not a lot of thought put into them. You can't customize them. You know, um, there's not as many enemies on the screen. The zones are, like, pretty big for what it is, but they're still kind of, like, small, if that makes any sense. Um, but I like a, a lot of the, the stuff they've done here. Like, I, I love the way the game looks. It looks like, you know, an updated version of Diablo 3. You know, let, let's just be honest with ourselves here. Diablo 3 is a 10-year-old game, right? That game's over a decade old. So, it's aged. This game looks not a whole lot different from it, but just kind of, like, enhanced. Um, some neat little visual effects and things like that. And I like it. I like the animations. Um, I like the skills. I, I like the way everything looks and feels. It's a fun game to play, you know, like killing things. Um, I like the music a lot. The music's really good in this game. And the voice acting as well. It's voice acting. You know, it's not, you know, top tier voice acting. It's not bad, you know, and there's a lot of voice acting in the game. And let's also not, or let's not forget that there's this whole story in this game. It's not just like I'm showing up and, and paying money every day to play the game. That's not how this game is at all. Like I played this for a week uh ish and um I, I i paid two times right one was in my first gameplay i paid 99 cents to get some kind of pack because i was like well fuck it it's a free game here's your 99 cents that i ironically used with money that i had acquired back when diablo 3 had a real money auction house that i was still sitting on that balance i, have, I had a balance of like two bucks and anyway then um i paid uh like 4.99 the other day for some kind of thing for the battle pass just because i was like well fuck it i played this game for like five days now for free i've got certainly five bucks worth of play time out of it so i gave him five bucks i don't have any problems with that that that's how i view these kind of games like apex and fortnite and uh uh oh what's that other game um fucking it's a blizzard game well whatever the, the oh overwatch 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 you know I'll play it for like a while. And then at some point, I'm like, well, fine. I'll buy a battle pass. I'll buy a, a pack of bullshit. Like, I'll give you a little cash, right? I have no, I have no problems doing that. Um, you know, the story's pretty good in this game. It's all right. It's not, not great, but you know, it's, it's a Diablo storyline. You know, demons are bad and stuff is corrupted. It's typical Blizzard stuff here. And was this like an old Chinese studio that made this game? Oh, oh damn. Um, I like what they've done with like the questing and all that where you know you can show up and group of people pretty easy um, I like the dungeons because Diablo 3 didn't have dungeons so that's a neat idea to me or I can go in a dungeon like an instance I'm very familiar with World of Warcraft so you know as a WoW player I know what an instance dungeon is and you queue up it's really easy to get in a group you know um, the little rift systems you know, they basically stole those from Adventure Mode and Diablo 3, and they're right there. Like, for, one of the first things you start seeing when you get here is, like, here's a rift. Here's how it works. Here's a challenge rift. You know, that's pretty cool. I, I like that kind of stuff. What I don't necessarily like is, like, the the rift thing. Not the challenge one, but the other one, where it has, like, those little, little tokens that will give you chances to get better stuff. Like, that was the first thing I noticed where I was like, okay, interesting. So, like... Every day I log in and I get one of those tokens for free, but you can you can put three down at a time. So, you know, I can use one or save them for three days and get a chance to get better loot. Or if you have a gambling addiction, you could say, well, fuck it, I'll, I'll pay $10 and get 20 of those tokens and I'll use them all to get better stuff, right? I, I'm not the kind of person that's going to do that. But, um, and... I, I see I, I can see that being a problem where like if you're the kind of person where you want to be the best version of your character or like you know be top top ranked or whatever that's where that pace up becomes a problem um I like the PvP 
game mode they put in it's kind of like there's only one level and i did it a few times it's fun but it's not something i want to do every single day um if they had different kind of maps and shit i'd probably be a little more interested in it but it's neat that it's in the game and the whole shadow versus um uh whatever the other one's called um and i think that's by guild i think the reason my character is shadow is because my guild that i joined is shadow and that's why i was down in the sewers or whatever and i, and I didn't really get to, to pick what i did um but but that's a cool system if like you're super hyper competitive and you get a group of nerds you know that want to fight another group of nerds like every week for like i'm assuming it's gear that's pretty fucking cool um i, I think that's that's really cool even though like you know spoiler alert, if you're anything other than like a demon hunter you might as well not even play demon hunters are stupid in pvp they just run away and shoot you at range there's nothing you can do about it it's dumb um yeah there's there there is a lot here about the game that i do like um you know the bounty system uh the way it's framed itself around like leveling because it's not just doing quest they they have like the little um uh what's it called the codex system where it's like little mini quest and it's like all right we'll do three dungeons uh you know do four or eight bounties do this dungeon and it 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 positions everything in a way where it, it gives you almost like like breadcrumbs it's like all right well if you want something to do go do this and as someone frankly that sometimes i, I don't want a big mysterious game i don't want a game like you know dark souls or demon souls or whatever that new one is where like nothing's explained to you and you're just dumped in this world like sometimes i like to be led by the nose <laughs> just because i i just want to place a game sometimes and kill some fucking monsters get some loot call it a day you know i don't want to spend hours and hours roaming around trying to figure out what to do that's not necessarily my jam sure sometimes it is like breath of the wild i liked it in that game but that, you know at the time that's what i wanted to play sometimes the games like this i just tell me where to go and what to do and i'll go do it right i can understand a lot of the problems or not problems but a lot of the hate this game gets because I've, I've read enough articles where people have outlined like if you wanted your character to be the best with the best gems and all the money you have to sink into it at a minimum to make it happen it's a lot of money you know but that's that's the thing though it's like well how much do you care about being the best like if you just want to play the game get some loot get some drops the game does that i mean shit, i, I played this you know uh, without paying for gear i just paid for like some cosmetic kind of stuff and uh you know i got upgrades my character objectively got more powerful as the game went on i got levels um there was really no kind of one moment where i was like oh man i feel like i need to give them money to make my character stronger because some people will try to frame it like that and i'm like eh, i don't i didn't see that but here's the deal i'm not gonna sit here and grind this game like i'm i might play kind of on my own get to level 60 and see what's up um but that's it i'm not gonna sit there and just grind this and try to be the best fucking diablo immortal player in the world like this will be a game i might fire up on my phone to shit on some demons while i'm like pooping you know <laughs> that's, that's just how this that's what this game is going to be for me you know i'm watching a show that i'm not super engaged in so i'm kind of like gonna half watch the show half play this game on my phone like that that's what this game will become i wonder what diablo 4 will be like like what kind of systems that they'll they'll kind of pick and choose from this game to put into that game and i don't know i i really don't know what that looks like like is it gonna have pay to win is it just gonna have like cosmetic stuff uh, i don't know i'm not sure um you know that that's why one of the first things i said like you have to think about what you're getting into when you play a game like this this is not Diablo 4. This is not the successor to Diablo 3. This is a fucking mobile game. And if you go into this game being all pissed off that it's framed like a mobile game with pay stuff and you get mad about it, you're a fucking idiot. Like, I don't know what else to say to you. <laughs> like, this game exists for a very specific market of people. And if you're bitching about it, guess what? You're not that market. Play another game. You know what I mean? I just don't get it. I see people just so fucking outraged over this game and I'm like, yeah, there's pay stuff. I enjoyed it, you know? I had fun. I, I I had a good yeah, there's even some frustrating stuff. It's a fucking video game. Sometimes video games piss you off. That's what a video game 
you know does it, it'll challenge you it'll make you mad it'll, you'll kill something and get that endorphin rush you're like oh, I, I won you know that, that that's a video game i don't uh i i just i i just don't understand like getting this so fucking upset about it. it's just strange very strange to me um you know it, it it's a game that i'm glad exists for the time that it does because it truly is the first new diablo game that we've got in a decade and i know four is coming out and blizzard's working on it and all that but blizzard is a company that concerns me sometimes because uh you know if you pay attention to the news they have some internal infrastructure issues with the way they treat their employees and their core values and shit like that which they need to really 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 take a step back and think about why having solid core values is important as a company and treating people with respect is important and shouldn't be a thing that you know has to be told to you like if you have to come and say like hey you shouldn't have done that to that person well you failed as a company you should just delete yourself and start over um but before you delete yourself please release diablo 4. Uh, thanks in advance um but yeah i mean i'm assuming double four is going to happen at some point and um you know i i, I am curious I guess at some point I should do a gameplay of the Diablo 2 remake completely. Um, I have a level mm, 40 something Paladin. Hell, my character may even be level 60 something. And I, I think I could replay the game with that character on like normal mode and just shit on everything just so I could show off the game. Um, Cause I, I think I got dragged through hell mode in that game. I, I think so. I, I had two friends I really really love the game and they grinded their way through it and well it's i felt bad for them because i was real excited to play until i started playing it and then i had this like a, a epiphany as i was playing it i was like yeah you know i actually don't want to do this again i don't want to grind mephisto a hundred times like that doesn't i'm kind of over that you know what i mean so unless it's like diablo 3 where there's like adventure mode and different things to do and stuff like that i don't want to do it so i didn't <laughs> So I kind of showed up, got a bunch of free loot, and like two fingered in the air, and I left, you know, and I, I quit playing with them. And uh, one of my buddies was like, "Man, you just showed up and hoovered up all of our shit and, and ditched us, huh?" And I'm like, "Well, <laughs> yeah, that's the thing that happened." Oh, one other thing about this game I really, really like that um, I, I wish I could find online, or maybe the Blizzard website would have it. But I love the artwork for this game like all the all the hand-drawn stuff it just looks so cool and in, in my living room right now I, um I, I said this earlier but i, I got a a book from barnes and noble it's the artwork of diablo i haven't i haven't taken out of the package yet um, but i'm going to here once i finish up this recording because i really want to check that out i i love those kind of art books like i got an art book for um resident evil it's, it's badass there's another one for dead space that i have it's it's badass um i just i love video game art books and what makes me kind of sad sometimes is when when i'll look in those books and i look at some of the like really cool art designs and a lot then i look at the game you know and i'm like man what happened you know i look at some of the art of like diablo 3 then i look at diablo 3 itself and i'm like god it looks so cool in this drawing but then i look at the game and i'm like it, it looks like world of warcraft but squished down you know and i still like the way diablo 3 looks but eh you know what i mean i i keep I keep holding out hope against hope that they'll come out with a Diablo 1 remake. It's extremely um, unlikely that that's going to uh, happen. But you never know. I mean, you told me hell, a couple years ago there'd be a Diablo 2 remake. I'd be like, I'd be like, yeah, whatever, bullshit. But here it is. It exists. I own it, you know. And, uh, you know. Who, who who would have thought that that was gonna happen i sure shit didn't you know so maybe there will be a diablo one remake. the thing about a diablo one remake is there's just not a lot to it you know like it's a pretty simplistic game like you got what 14 16 levels and only like a handful of armor sets and like i think at its base there was three character classes you had a rogue a warrior and a wizard or a sorceress or whatever they're I, th I think they're called a wizard in that game that was it right so do i see them going back and remaking that game i don't know 
probably not you know they, they really wouldn't even have to like really all, all they'd have to do is just take some of the assets from the diablo 2 remake and just put together like a 14 you know like like basically like an expansion pack like diablo 2 remake expansion pack diablo 1 you know what i mean that piece that would be a that would be funny a a a uh re-release of the first game re, re remake within the, the remake of the sequel <laughs> remake exception uh, but i i i've always liked diablo one as far as like the atmosphere and the the story and all that i've liked that a lot more in diablo two or three or really any of the other diablos because it was very self-contained it was a very self-contained story within tristram you know you had diablo he was the bad guy you go kill him and you know that was it right you'd have all this other like prime evils and soul gems stones and world whatever like you didn't have anything like that you know and i understand like you know scope of a video game gets bigger as it goes on but you know i was like sometimes i just want something a little more um you know self-contained and smaller human resources information systems theme that's a that's a mouthful and if they're all human resources people y'all uh <laughs> i pity y'all man god damn. imagine being a human resources person at blizzard nowadays god damn man i bet you know there are people that they get hired into that company from outside and they're brought in and they're like what the fuck have y'all done with this culture <laughs> That's what I would do. I'd show up. I'm like, all right, tell me your core values and tell me about your culture. And and I bet that your average employee would start talking about the games. And I'd be like, motherfucker, I don't give a shit about the video games. Tell me about your culture and the company and the people. Tell me. Tell me right now. What is it? And they couldn't. I bet they couldn't do it. Well, we have Diablo. Oh my. Uh, no, no. You all suck. You all. You all. You all failed as a company look I, I have the statue of diablo i'm like that's that's great <laughs> it doesn't mean anything okay these credits are going on for a very long time i didn't expect them to go on the song so i'm gonna speed this up a little bit i uh you know i like talking over credits but man these credits are long man gandalf there's some motherfucker named gandalf for real all right there's no motherfucker named Gandalf in the whole world. I bet someone would name their fucking kid Gandalf. Weird, man. Then again, I have a buddy that named this kid Ender, so, you know. I Not not the weirdest name I've ever heard, but I'm like... I'm like I remember he told me, too. He's like, oh, his name's Ender. I'm like, from the book? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. Cool. I'm not sure what happened to normal names, like... You know kevin or tim <laughs> out the window can't have a normal name i i have to have a name like gandalf god can you imagine growing up with a name like gandalf you get your ass kicked like every day as a kid like like once once the, the people in school figured out like what it meant like gandalf oh and because you'd be like hoo, 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 the gray or you know if you're like a, if you're uh eh. uh everyone I'm not gonna continue down that thought. Um God, look how many people there are, man. See, this, this is the part of my gameplay where I should just start crying about how long the credits are. Because these credits are credits are a lot. At, at this point, I just wanna I'm 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 dedicated to just finishing the credits. What's this? I don't want to click on it because it might it might reset the credits. I, you know, if, if if you made me pick the one thing I like about this game the most, I'd say the art, the the hand drawn art, is my favorite. And my second thing probably be the music. I like the music a lot. I like this little tune that's playing right now. It's very good. Very uh, yeah, it's very Diablo. You know, when, when I think of what Diablo music sounds like, it to me it sounds like this. I can't believe I saw a motherfucker named Gandalf. That's just <laughs> what? You know what's crazy about ten? No, longer than that. Probably fifteen years ago, I um I actually applied to work for Blizzard, um because they because they had a call center in Austin, Texas, 
Um, well, I don't know if it was a call center, but they had they had a center in Austin, Texas, and um, I applied because I wanted to be a uh, a GM in World of Warcraft, and I applied. I think I applied a couple times, but I never got a call back from them, and it all worked out for the best because the company I work for now, you know, in retrospect, I'm I'm glad that I didn't leave, um, you know, because I make good money and I've uh, you know worked my way up the company and they've been very good to me and you know whatever. Like right now, I'm on a two week paid vacation, which is just awesome. Like a week from today, I'll still be on fucking vacation. So just, oh, I love it. Yeah. yeah, I applied to work for that company and thank God I didn't. And the thing is, I bet anything, it wasn't even, um, it wasn't even like Blizzard directly. It was back in those days where all the big companies, like well, all the big companies, they wouldn't hire you directly. You were hired as like a like a contractor, and that way they could just like term you at in any given time if like you know they just they didn't need you anymore. And that was just the thing back in the day, man. Like if if you have got a job in the past fifteen years, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because there's a lot of people out there that that went through that. What is this? Are these all people that? Uh, I, Wait, the Blizzard family? I don't, I don't get it. Are these people that uh, had? Uh, there's no way people had this many kids. I, I know usually they'll have like the the babies born during a game development. That's that's. If if this is truly the baby section, goddamn. That is a lot of kids. Um, this has gotta be towards the end of the credits. I I refuse. I'm gonna keep going until the credits are over. <laughs> I've run out of things to talk about, but I don't care. These credits aren't going to beat me. Mc, McSweeney? I'm like scanning, looking for names that are interesting. I So far, fucking Gandalf is, is the one that wins. Gandalf. Wow, that's a mouthful. Sun, sun, her, sun, sun, sun. <laughs> uh, uh, it's still going. Oh, boy, so liquid violet. What? Oh, here's all the people that gave the voices. That would be pretty cool to um be a voice actor for a video game. I've Oh no, it's gonna go through all the voices in like every language. Oh, there's Japanese. Yeah. I wonder what this game sounds like in Japanese. Oh, here we go. This is probably the end right here. Gotta be. Start talking about this kind of nonsense. Yeah, this is it. watch somehow i'll get hit with like a copyright thing and they're like well dude like you you read it at the end of the credits and i'm like well, i don't know i was reading it just green by the screen too fast accepting a warranty how the hell could you have a warranty on a video game this doesn't make sense we warranty the game will play like i don't know Oh my god, it's who's Eric Young? And what is Python? Diablo Immortal. Oh there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. The end! Yay! So what's this? Wait, it's starting over. Oh. Okay. Alright, well anyway. That was fun. Um I am gonna call it done on this game will i post another gameplay of it eh, maybe i mean probably not i don't really have any intentions of playing this anymore for a while um i, I am going to get back into the batman games i was playing i have two recordings of batman arkham city um but then before i could post one of them this game came out so i started playing it to see what it was and well here we are a week later i'm still playing it so um <coughs> there's that but I'm going to go back to Batman, my one true love, and continue punching people in the face. 
um i think there is one game there's a demo that i want to post and you know i may post it before i even do this video you know who knows um but it's some demo of a horror game that looks pretty cool and um i don't know how to describe what it looks like beyond it looks like a retro like i don't know pixel horror game i'm not sure but i want to check it out see what it is it's a demo maybe i'll hate it i don't know i may even post it in video if it doesn't go well i think my next gameplay I, I probably will do the face cam i haven't been doing any face cam for this game because <laughs> i just i don't watch my videos anyways whether i'm in front of a camera or not but i'm just too lazy to put up my green screen but um okay for all I'm, I'm done i'm just rambling at this point i'm just talking to myself so i'm gonna go uh if you got this far that one person thank you throw me a like throw a comment that you made this form and i'm out we'll see you when to see you